Hi guys, it's Dirigitsi here, welcome to my channel. You have been asking me so much to make a detailed hair tutorial because lately I have been doing the hair slightly different and maybe slightly easier than previously and I am finally doing this for you. If you want to draw hair like me, this is the video for you and I'll try to explain everything as detailed as possible. So let's start. You already see finished piece, everything besides the hair. So those are all, all the other layers. Right here you can see the color layer of the hair and the line art layer. And those two, I will merge them down. So they are together now. I don't need to have hair line art and hair coloring on separate layers. Totally unnecessary. Now I'll take off a lock. It needs to be locked. And the first thing we will do is airbrushing. You take the airbrush, soft brush, and you sample the color and you make it darker. In some places it will be darker, right? So I select like maybe this area like that and then i can make it darker very softly this don't worry it's okay i'll change that anyway now we can take um like more saturated color slightly add it to some places again select The first thing is looking at the whole picture. Taking the dark color again and selecting this again and making it lighter again. Maybe with more toned down color, grayish color. You need to mix those, then it looks the best. Saturated and unsaturated. And you see it slightly already gives this nice hair, soft hair vibe. And just play with it. Don't finish doing it too quickly. Finish only when you're satisfied with the overall composition you get. Play with the colors you already have on the hair. Sorry, I was a little bit sick, so my voice is not really pleasant at the moment. Right here. After some time, all the lines that we connected that were there will be gone. And if they are not, also don't worry. This process is not too short, not too long. I do try to make the drawing process of anything as fast as possible. It's not always, it's not always possible. Okay, I think so far, I think it's pretty good. I think the composition, like from the far, I think it looks good. Besides, I will make it more saturated on right here. I like it. Now we can start adding some details. And for this, I take the flat hair details 1.2 and I go in and I try to make some more sharper details, but they may have to make sense and sometimes you will destroy the composition. Just go back. Don't, don't worry, just go back. And you need to think about what you want to create. Don't just make lines out of nowhere. And still, everything is locked, over locked. Maybe we can like, do this. Doesn't make sense. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of like this part, but I don't know how it will turn out when there's more, de more details in it. Because it, do, it does change. No, I, I think I, I might like it actually. Let's add some saturated little details, not too many. Mm. 
Now, I think I might like it. I think I really might like it. But this is connecting too much. I will disconnect it so I can see it's two pieces of hair. I think it looks better now. I'll go to this part and I'll go, I'll go back here a little bit later. When you look at one piece a little bit too much, you lose your ability to think clearly. And it's good to work on something else for a little bit and then come back. And your brain will help you. It will help you. Just give it a break. Oh, yes, I like this shape. We might go in with a little bit dark color because I like contrast in here, which we'll add later. It's important that you have a brush that works like this. You know, this is the perfect hairbrush for this technique. I used to only use my flat hairbrush or flat hairbrush too, but my technique changed and now this is like the favorite brush I use for my hair. Oh, now the off lock is off. So we could add some details like the hair strokes going around. And for the hair strokes, like make it really, really dynamic. I like to do something like this. This is not perfect, but hair strokes not listening listening to the rest of the hair. I don't know. I don't know how it will work on this drawing because her hair is kind of thick and kind of in one place. But we can try. We can try to do something. No, oh yes, I like this one. Definitely. We can go further with this stroke. And the stroke. Oh. Oh, yeah. Don't just try to make something like this. Try to make something like this too. This. It works really well. Remember that straight lines are your friends. Like a very thin one. Or maybe right here. Hmm, no. For now, I'll just leave it at that. Ooh, yes. This is the one I like. This too. Yeah, we'll think about it later. Don't worry. Okay, now we kind of have a lot already. Now we need to give it more contrast. And for this, we will need still just the same brush. I don't really need to use another brush right now. And it has to be small, like pretty little, little brush. And let's take like very dark color like this is this is dark enough and let's experiment a little bit because it's all about experimenting and see what works don't zoom in too much so you can see the whole composition and don't worry about like making it perfect and try to like just like here make those shapes don't just make some things like this no it doesn't look good Always, we need to combine, co com combine, combine it with shapes. You know, I will color it in, but not necessarily. I will see. I will, I'll see. Oh, I can off lock it. Maybe right here, and then it goes further. like right here like the hair behind her head just make it dark just makes sense okay when you zoom out it looks good it, it looks good actually i like the way i chose those shape here the shapes here and i wonder if it looks better when i color it in it it kind of i don't know i really didn't know oh my god Hmm, difficult. 
might look better like without coloring it in and i think i will keep it that way i think i like it more and i wonder if this is going to look better when it's dark no it doesn't it doesn't And near the face, I like to always make it dark anyway, just so there's contrast. And let's let's connect the hair to the face a little bit better. We can now take the airbrush, off lock it again, connect it to the face a little bit better. Airbrush it a little bit, just slightly. And now go back to the brush the hair brush and take the color here it's just gray and draw with that oh it's awful locked And now we can even take the skin color and go not too much, just a little bit. Make it even smaller and go in here. Yes, looks good. Okay, now you see those little details add a lot of effect. And we will do it to the rest of the drawing. First, I'll just um, make it a little bit more hair colorish yes i mean skin colorish yes it looks good okay now let's go back to the rest of the hair and to the sharp flat hair details 1.0 brush and let's make some slight details some little details because i think the whole picture of the hair is good i think it's good right yeah now we can make little little details that will make the whole picture look like sharp, you know? Okay, so let's start here. Don't zoom in too much. I know it's easier when you zoom in, but you don't know what real effect it has on your drawing. So you need to watch out. And it's even too thick. I need to make it less thick. Even details that are not that visible, just do it. They do add a lot to the drawing. So first with a very, very dark lines in some places. Not too much. I think this looks good. Now let's take Y. And it actually doesn't have to be 100% white, but really light color. And let's see what we can do. And this is really process of trying and failing and trying it again. Just seeing what works. Okay, now we have really nice hair. We can actually go to filters, like hue, saturation, brightness, and see if there's anything we can do. No, 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 no. To make it better. And I think that's the only thing. This is better? Yes, I think like more vibrant is better. And now we can add some more contrast, some more saturation contrast by making this even more gray. And still, still going with this brush. Make shapes like this. Don't do this. Just make shapes, they don't have to be perfect, but I don't know, just make them, trust me. No, that's awful like it. Ok, 
okay now it's becoming a little bit too too macaroni like like it, it's too too much okay it looks good but we need to soften it up slightly and how i mean i don't really mean soften up but i mean make it more dynamic how to make it more dynamic well you need those little strands of hair everywhere maybe you can try hmm no it's it's not bad it's really not bad maybe we can take this light color one little little one right here and let's experiment but first but first let's go and grab airbrush again and make it softer now we'll really make it softer like this you just take some parts and slightly shade it just, just a little bit now something lighter we will take this part and slightly shade it now let's go with gray where do we want to have gray we can go in right here and here and slightly oh and slightly shade it just slightly we can go in right here and slightly shade it with gray maybe well, maybe maybe with gray do you think it's a good idea i don't think so slightly shade it like this and behind that stroke of hair make it darker slightly darker and right here you can make this grayish oh i don't know it was not an awful act oops slightly grayish or just from the from down and from the upper side like this yes i think it works really well it does the job now the last last thing i will do is again again going in with the brush and just making it perfect it can be can't be perfect but i do always try to make it perfect Okay, I think it's time for a little bit of highlights. I don't always use it. It doesn't always make the drawing better. So keep in mind to compare and do it on another layer so you can turn it off, turn it on and see what's better. That's what I will do in a second. And I think... Hmm... I think it's better without maybe or I, I, I just have to do it a little bit different zoom out and you can see it way better now I'll just do it here um, here and I think just to balance it out right here maybe right here I think we can say we are finished with the hair and this is exactly how I draw hair I am very happy with the results of how I explained it to you and how it turned out because this is my third attempt on trying to explain to you how I draw hair and I finally did it because it's it's difficult to record and draw because I have to like pull myself back otherwise you see my head in front of the camera it's not the same as just drawing without recording so I am very happy with the results I hope it 
it was helpful for you and make sure to like subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and i don't know share it with your art artist friends so uh, i can grow my channel and yeah i can make more videos oh and don't forget to, to check out my brushes i used the juicy hair brush set it's absolutely amazing i'm telling you you can get it on aliziaprints.com and yeah you'll get amazing brushes and you'll support my art so thank you i'll see you or hear you in the next one bye